Welcome. You are listening to the Be A Better Being podcast hosted by Michelle Zellner and Sasha Bershide. Michelle and Sasha are here to give you information and inspiration to help you live your healthiest, happiest lives. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoy the show. Greetings. This is Michelle and this is the Be A Better Being podcast, but this is just a little special PSA because I have a whole bunch of things to tell you. It is February 1st. It is officially Heart Month. And this is a really important month to me because I am passionate about getting people to not only understand what it takes to have a healthy heart, but to embrace the choices that you are making so that you do have a healthy heart, so that you can live your healthiest, happiest, most full and fulfilling life. So there are a couple of things I have going on that I wanted to share with all of you, and I hope that you are going to participate. The first thing I have going on is a seven-week challenge that kicks off on Monday, February 6th. It's totally fine. If you don't hear this until after the 6th, you can still hop in on the challenge because it's seven weeks long. Basically, what it is, it's daily tasks that you hear Sasha and I talking about all the time. Drink your water, move your body, express your gratitude, you know, those general things. But it's done in a nice little friendly competition. It is open to everybody. There's information and inspiration all throughout the seven weeks. I'm also going to be doing weekly drawings for coaching calls for anybody who's participated in the challenge and a grand finale drawing for a full tuition package to U Revolution University, my online course content. So all of the information to join and get more detail on the challenge is going to be in the show notes. So check that out. I hope you will join and invite your friends, your families, your coworkers, everybody, because the more the merrier, right? The other thing I want to tell you about is it is heart month. Yes, there is a big focus on heart health. And I am a strong advocate with the American Heart Association. And we have a lot of really cool things going on. Number one, Friday, February 3rd, is National Wear Red Day. So if you do nothing else, please wear red on Friday because this is the symbol that we are going to be focusing on heart health awareness. Now, obviously, we have to do much more than just wear red on Friday. So here's a couple of ways that you can get involved. You can come to the webinar that I am hosting February 23rd, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. It is called Take It to Heart, and I am going to be giving you as much information as I can about the ins and outs of heart health, heart disease, your risk, your lifestyle choices, the warning signs if you're having an issue, what to do if you are seeing warning signs, all of those things. Again, this is open to everybody. There is a link in the show notes to join. There is a small fee. It is $10. I hope that you decide $10 is worth, you know, dipping into your pocketbook for to invest in a little time and energy to get really valuable information that hopefully is going to inspire you to make some changes or to keep on doing what you're doing to keep that heart nice and healthy and happy. That $10 that you invest to come to my webinar is actually going to not go into my pocketbook, but it is going to go to the fundraising efforts that I am involved in for a campaign with the American Heart Association, Go Red for Women, and the specific campaign is called the Woman of Impact. So I have nominated a woman in my community to be a woman of impact. Her name is Sandy Bowman. She is, by the outside, the epitome of health. On the inside, it wasn't so much. Sandy had a stroke last year, and she didn't know really what was going on. She never thought she was at risk for a stroke. She made a couple little tiny mistakes when she had those symptoms going on, which we'll talk about. But luckily, the mistakes weren't too egregious because she made it. She's here. She's fine. She is a woman of impact, in my opinion, because she is such a strong advocate for women taking care of themselves. And so this Woman of Impact campaign, it's a nine-week campaign. Sandy forms a team. I'm a teammate. And there are lots of challenges along the way. Some of it is fundraising. Some of it is simply, hey, move your body today. And if we can get people to move their bodies, we get points. 
Some of it is, hey, let's go learn hands-on CPR. And if we can do that, we earn points. There are teams across the country who are doing this Woman of Impact Challenge. At the end of the nine weeks, we announce a winner. Whoever earned the most money, gained the most points, that's the winner. Ultimately, we're all winners. So I don't even care about being the winner. I want people to participate. So how can you get involved? Well, you can join our team. Again, doesn't have to be the whole thing. If you, you're busy in February, but March is a little better, great. Reach out because I would love to have you part of the team. You can't be part of the team. That's okay. You can donate. You can donate to my donation fundraising efforts. You can donate to Sandy's. You can do whatever you want. Again, links will be in the show notes. So you can open up your wallets and donate. $5, $10, $50, $1,000, whatever you are willing. You can spread awareness, right? Our sisters, our daughters, our mothers, our grandmothers, our friends, our coworkers. Heart disease affects everybody. And I promise you, Sandy never, ever, 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 ever thought she would have a stroke. I have a list of women starting in their 20s, going up into their 80s, who have had heart attacks, strokes, all kinds of things. None of them ever imagined it would be them. This affects everybody. And everybody needs to be aware. So get involved. Go and support your local communities that are doing things to gain awareness. Be an advocate for it. Take charge of your own health with those healthy habits. Maybe you have a company and you would like to be a corporate sponsor. Let me know. We would love that, right? We talk about well-being in the workplace. Well, are they, are they walking the walk? Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's find women supporting women. These are all the ways that I really hope you will take an active role in not only your own health, but the health of all the people around you as well and the health of your community. So those are a couple of things I have going on. I hope that at least one of them is interesting enough to you to invest your time, your energy, and your money to participate and to be that voice who is going to help lift people up. Because ultimately, it is about being the healthiest, happiest version of you. And I'm telling you, if you do what you need to do to keep your heart healthy, so many other things will fall into line. In addition to all that, Matters of the Heart is the theme of the podcast for the month. So we have amazing guests who are going to talk about all these things from another woman in my life who survived a stroke to a doctor a medical Western medicine practicing doctor who advocates her patients to embrace a healthy lifestyle. We talk about love between pets and, and their owners. And then we talk about love with humans because all of those things are matters of the heart. So I appreciate all of you as always for listening. And I hope you continue to be inspired by the guests and the content that Sasha and I put out. Thank you for listening to my little pitch here. And I hope you will just go and be a better being. Thank you for listening to the Be A Better Being podcast. Michelle and Sasha hope that what you heard today inspires you to embrace this journey of life with an open mind, a kind heart, and a willingness to learn and evolve. If you enjoyed the content, please help spread their message by subscribing, sharing, and leaving a five-star review. If you have a show topic idea or would like to be a guest, please visit betterbeings.net and fill out a contact form. Until next time, go and be a better being.